very curious about what you're looking to uh, understand uh, from this hearing, but at the same time trying to understand how you think and how you think other members of the committee are contemplating this testimony in relation to this other uh, almost larger situation, which is the future of Twitter and this lawsuit uh, with Elon Musk, and how you think that bears on all of this? Well, you certainly give me uh, quite a menu of things to be concerned about, but I'll tell you, the first thing we're concerned about is the security and privacy of information when, uh, when it comes to America's people who are using the Twitter platform. Uh, this is an unprecedented uh, a revelation. Uh, this whistleblower came to us uh, and uh, on a bipartisan basis, Democrats and Republicans on the committee, and said he had a story to tell, and he believed that the public needed to know. Uh, that's unusual in the uh, Judiciary Committee, and certainly on this subject matter, but it's not the last time I think we'll consider this important issue. Americans have to ask a basic question when it comes to the issues being raised at this hearing. Is there any level of information or uh, data concerning you personally that you want to keep private? Uh, do you believe that is being kept private by the platforms that you're using? Uh, what, he goes by the handle Mudge. What he tells us is that when it comes to twi uh, Twitter, uh, that unfortunately uh, there have been too many instances where too many people had access to basic information. Senator, do you have any questions about the credibility of this witness, given the various well, uh, firings, payments, and other things that have been taking place and the backdrop of this lawsuit as well? Well, I don't know this field uh, with any great expertise, but I take a look at his resume and the fact that when Twitter got caught in one of the most uh, outrageous hacking incidents uh, two years ago, they called on him to come to, come to the rescue. He uh, boasts of a reputation in the industry, uh, which is pretty substantial, and with government agencies. And the fact that they chose him is uh, sort of a, a tribute to his expertise. The fact that he fell out of favor at Twitter uh, is going to be a subject of a lot of speculation. But certainly his resume is one that uh, is impressive. Uh, for a layman to look at it, you, they think, well, you, you call him in in the most delicate situations, he must know a lot and he must have a record to prove it. Are you, though, planning, and the reason I ask about the credibility issue is, are you intending just to talk about what uh, he believes has happened at Twitter, or do you plan to ask him anything about his own motivations in this, because I do believe that there are people uh, who would argue that his credibility unto itself should be questioned. Oh, and, and you can expect that. And let me say for the record, we invited Twitter to send their CEO in to testify as well so we could hear that side of the story. For a variety of reasons, they turned us down. Uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, his critics uh, have increased uh, in volume and number uh, as he has spoken out more publicly about this issue. He felt a moral obligation, an ethical obligation to do that on behalf of the people using the Twitter platform. Uh, and certainly they went on the attack against him almost immediately. Uh, so that's not unusual. It happens in our committee all the time. We have to be the judge. America has to be the judge as to credibility. Senator, how do you think about Twitter in the context of its other competitors? And specifically, I want to talk about TikTok. Uh, because there is a, a view, a prevailing view in this country, uh, that it is a company that is controlled by China. Um, and there are some people calling for its uh, shuttering, effectively. We are naive to believe that there aren't uh, international connections with these platforms, which raise serious not only privacy issues, but security issues. There was a recent uh, uh, conviction of an individual who took information from the Twitter platform and gave it to the leaders in Saudi Arabia uh, to out a dissident, uh, and a person was convicted for doing just that. So that is an illustration, one illustration, of the misuse of data to the detriment of someone's personal privacy, in fact, may have endangered that person's life. Uh, so we got to take that very seriously, and we should need not be so naive as to believe that it's all domestic. I, I think there are international implications. Does it matter, though, who, who effectively controls it, insofar as one being a U.S. based company, another being based elsewhere, in this case, uh, a Chinese company? Matter, matters to me. Uh, I, I would start with uh, there are four hard targets that the United States watches carefully day in and day out. 
China and Russia top the list. And so when they are involved in any venture uh, that has access to data about America uh, or our agencies or our citizens, you bet I'm concerned.